is how many we got online. Always, always late. I have to get on everybody. The students that wanted to do this are dropping like flies. We'll, we, no, we'll just we'll just see Richard in a couple of months. You know. I was going to try to review just so we can. I, some people get it, having a hard time grasping. Well, let's pray and we'll get started. Father, help us. We ask your Holy Spirit to enable us, help us to understand the language, put it all together. Be faithful to do what you tell us to do. May we yield our minds to the leadership of your Holy Spirit. Enable us to comprehend what we need to know in Jesus' name. So I put this, this is the second declension now. We've been talking about nouns. Second declension now will either be nominative us. Uh, masculine or neuter. So I just took one simple one, the logos, and put it down under the cases so that we could understand how when you recognize the form, how to translate that. Now, and I'll get to this later on, the Greek does have prepositions. And if they put a preposition, for instance, with genitive or ablative, it's for extreme importance for you to understand. But if there's no, the preposition or is there in the endings, and I have wrote all of them out, genitive and ablative have the same ending. Genitive is, a, is the possession of a word. Ablative, origin, or separation from a word. That's how you would translate it. If that's the only word you saw. The endings become extremely important. Locative, instrumental, dative all have the same ending. But when I'm translating it, locative is the case of location in or at a word. Not the word because there's no definite article. I put the definite article here on this one, but there's no definite article that I had put with this. Instrumental is the case of doing something or how it is done with or by a word. Dative is to or for a word, something that's done for you or to you. And then accusative is just use the direct object, a word. And the same thing is true in the plural. I just put the plural endings over here. So you do that with all of the, the second declension now. That's where a lot of people get confused sometimes because they don't recognize that we can't, what, what the ending is telling us something. 
This is how this noun logos is going logos is going to be used in a sentence. I want to be. By, I hope you, by now you've learned the endings for the second clinching masculine. I hadn't been to the neuter yet. If it's confusing, let me know because I don't want us to get lost in all of this. It's it's uh. One of the students. I don't know. She may be on there today, Nora, but told me some uh, Tuesday night in class. She said, you know, I, I recognize the words. And that's what you need to do. Recognize the words. And the endings. Was, is Coy, was he online? Or? have a question I don't mind stopping and, and backing up and going back over something because you know. these cases tell us how the word is functioning in the sentence that's why I Last week when we were translating sentences, I said, bound, find the subject, find the verb. But I can't do that if I don't know the vocabulary and the word. I think I hesitate to move to something else. Because I don't know that we've got all this down yet. And again, Stuart may not like this, but you are but where we are now. I had I found the role ten students when I taught that at Yale. And now we're down we're gonna go down to two or three. So and the re you know the the reason I keep emphasizing this is because the teacher or the preacher who knows and uses the Greek New Testament will be more accurate in the interpretation and present a deeper, richer truth that people cannot understand just reading the English. Uh, So everything that we're learning in here will enable you to have a more accurate, clear interpretation of the verses. The Word is the tool that the Holy Spirit uses. And if I have a sharper tool, then the better it's going to work. Any question on, on this nouns before we move on? I don't want to just run away and say this, we're not going to talk about it anymore. Make sure we understand it. You do that with all of the, the second declension nouns that you have learned in the vocabulary. If we put doulos up here, which is the word for slave, it would be the same thing. O doulos, the slave, genitive of a slave. From a slave, in or at a slave, with or by. The masculine. If it's uh, neutered, neuter, it will be o, omicron nu, or I hadn't got, we hadn't got to the neuter yet. So the second declension in the OS. If it's masculine. If it's masculine. Uh, 
Yeah, he ought to have illustrations there of the uh, neuter. Yes, and then GIF on page 19, there's Doron. Instead of OS, it's new. Doron, Doru, Doro, Doron, and I. I don't want us to get confused. The uh, the the uh, nominative singular and the nominative uh, accusative singular have the same look like the same. It's the context will have to tell you how it's used, whether it's nominative or accusative. And then the plural ending will be the same except for the nominative and the accusative if in the neuter it's alpha, do ra, or temple. Page 19. Second declension noun. Four point eight. So if if it was a neuter noun in the second declension, it will end in omicron nu instead of omicron sigma. And I don't I don't want us to get confused. This is the word for gift. That's nominative. And then the other, the uh, genitive, ablative, locative, instrumental, dative will be the same as what you learn with the masculine. And then when you come to the accusative, the accusative will be the same as the nominative. And that's where you're going to have to let the context tell you what, what case you're dealing with. This is singular. When it's the plural, it will have the alpha in front of it. And the same thing will be true for this is nominative. And the accusative will have the alpha. I know it can we move so fast and I have really slowed down. We'd be so far in the class school. Way behind. I don't want to go on if we hadn't got this clear. Well, I can put a sentence up there and see if we can translate it. Uh, there are sentences in the in the book, and we could do it from there. If you've got your book in front of you. And I do have the test up here from that class of the seminar. I can, I'm going to just, instead of just doing it from the book, I can just write one up here and see if we can translate it.
I find the find the subject the nominative case in that sentence. Okay, anthropos. The nominative ends in omicron sigma, and this one I didn't mix up all the words. Just the man. So here's my subject. This is the nominative case. Now I have to find the verb. That's the verb, and, and that's from the meaning of gnosko is what? No. So the man knows, and here I'm down to direct object, and it's in this because it's accusative because it ends in Omicron nu. If I don't know what. No mas means I'm not going to be able to translate. The man knows the The man knows the law. This is the definite article. So, when I see a sentence, I've got to find the subject, which is the nominative case, find the verb, and determine what tense it is. And we've only learned the present tense, active tense. And if there is a direct object, that's the accusative case, and it, the accusative direct object ends in Omicron nu. So this is the word for law. The man knows the law. Again, all of these verb, nouns and verbs we've had in the vocabulary up to this point, so I ought to be able to recognize them. Put another one up. Writing is atrocious. So find the nominative case up there. It's going to be the subject of the sentence. Found the nominative case of the man. Nominative, second declension noun, 
Masculine ends in what? Omicron sigma. So the only word up here with Omicron sigma is, is this one. Well, what does this word mean? Dulos, slave. And it has a definite article with it, so the slave. And now I've got to find the verb in there. And remember the, the verb endings, O, I, I. Is there a word up there with I, O, I, I? Well, I got to know what that word means, say, right. Hey, Rye, that's a PH. Carry or bring. Brings, and then <clears throat> that last word, Doron, what case is that? It's accusative case. No definite article in front of it, so, and Doron, Doros means what? A gift. The, the slave brings a, a gift. I found the, the noun, the nominative. I found the verb, and this is present in Dictive Third Person Singular. Now, this has to be the ob direct object, and this is accusative case of gift. You've got to know the vocabulary and the ending. That's, that's the key to all of it. Whether I'm dealing with a noun or I'm dealing with a verb. Put another one. Let's see if we, if we can improve. <laughs> you ought to be just reading that like it was your English Bible. <laughs> and I think we had all of these words. Oh, wait, that's confusing. It, I don't see a nominative case up there. Remember, if the nomit if there's no nominative case, you can see the subject uh, is going to be in the ending of the verb because you can have a sentence with one word. O, ice, I, you, and what does ekais mean or echo? Do what? Yep. You have. That's that's a sentence. There's the subject and the verb in one word. You have what? <laughs> yep. Fruit. You have the fruit. Carpos. And the 
definite article with it, so you have the fruit. Again, you got to train yourself. Remember, you can have just a verb there and have a, 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 a sentence. You walk or you have. I don't know you. <laughs> it will. The more we do, I, and that's why I'm slowing down. Uh, the redeeming factor is you don't. You're not taking this for a credit and a grace. No, 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 I didn't, I don't, no, i am just got some sentences here. No, I'm not going to do that. I just found one in all these notes that we had at the seminar. But here you are. <laughs> I remember that day down at Social Springs when he introduced me to you. You got it. In class on Tuesday night. Yeah, Nora. All right, let me put another one up here a little bit more uh, detail. And again, look at the ending. I know, again, it's hard to read my writing. Now, this was one of them where it's not just right word order, as it would be in English. So, I got to, I'm looking at it. I've got to find subject, verb, and the direct object if it's in there. You answered a while ago. You ought to be reading it. Oh, I can talk in your sleep. Done that for years. Found uh, where is the nominative case noun? Which which word? It would be o o Omicron Sigma. Which word? Okay. Curia. That's the noun. 
the subject in the uh, sentence. Not the only noun, but the subject. The nominative case. Where's the verb? Here's the nominative case, which is the subject. Where's the verb? 